Now to new information in the case of a teenage murder suspect. Aiden Fucci's parents were in court today to get a new attorney for him. Their son is accused in the stabbing death of a St. John's County cheerleader. 13 year old Tristan Bailey died nearly two weeks ago. On your side, Jessica Clark has been following this case closely. She joins us now with the new developments. Jess? Yeah, Heather, as of today, Aiden Fucci's original attorney is out and Aiden Fucci is getting a team of attorneys from the public defender's office. Aiden Fuji, the teenage murder suspect, was not in the Zoom court hearing, but his parents were. First item of business, Anwar Snober, the private attorney who represented Fuji in his first appearance last week, was in court Thursday, officially asking to be taken off the case. And I'll grant your motion to withdraw at this time, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. The second item of business, Fucci's parents and their finances. They both asked the judge to be declared indigent. That means they cannot afford an attorney for their son, Aiden. And with this murder case, the legal fees are expected to be hefty. A little background here. Fucci's parents are not married. The teenager lives with his mother and her partner in the high-end Durban Crossing neighborhood. But state statute says property is not considered when qualifying for indigency. And Thursday, the judge wanted to know more about Fucci's father's finances. And are you employed? Yes, ma'am. I'm self-employed, but since since this, the, the company has has took a down sports wall. So Paul. Okay, so that your company is just your only source of income? Yes, ma'am. Both of Fuji's parents were then deemed indigent, and because of that, the judge appointed the public defender's office to represent the 14-year-old. Well, thank you, Your Honor. Actually, we're gonna have a team of attorneys representing um Aiden Fucci, we're glad you, you did that, Your Honor. It's a privilege to represent uh, young Mr. Fucci. A public defender says he expects his team to put in hundreds of hours into Aiden Fucci's defense. The issue of charging him as an adult is still up to the state attorney's office. Jessica Clark, First Coast News, back to you.